to another PBA equipment video review. So today we start with a question. How many times have you dreamed to get rid of all these cables on your anesthesia station? Some companies are heading towards that direction, including Massimo with their relatively new Massimo Mitisat pulse oximeter. I've been asked by a couple of people to review this device because even though it's not designed to be used in animals, it's so small, so lightweight, so portable, and it has Bluetooth that I'm pretty sure that it's gonna find a place in some people's equipment. So let's have a look at the device. So as you can see in the box, you have the device itself here, and that's pretty small. Let's compare it with my iPhone 6S and as you can see it's very 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 small. Inside the box you'll also find instruction manual, never forget to read it, two batteries, a bag to carry it around and a wrist or a necklace. Um, so the device itself, it's a clip, basically. Um, it has a screen on the front, it has a touch control here, it has a button on the back that's just to open the battery compartment, it uses two A triple uh, A uh, batteries. Uh, to turn it on, you just need to open the clip. Inside, as you can see, uh, the material uh, looks like silicone or some sort of silicone, and it's pretty comfortable. You have a sensor on the back. Um, it sits pretty comfortably on my finger. I've done two very long tests. So six hours the first time and seven hours the second time of continuous measurement. He never squeezed my finger. Uh, it always felt very comfortable, very comfortable. And it has also this little uh, movement here on the back so that it doesn't squeeze your finger or in our case, uh, the animal's tongues. Um, on the screen, you can see the um, saturation pulse rate, perfusion uh, index, prismographic waveform with these little vertical lines that are the signal IQ. This device has both signal IQ and SET. Uh, SET is, uh, stands for signal extraction technology. Uh, this allows this device to get a good measurement even uh, if there is a low perfusion or uh, with motion artifact. And these are the two situations where uh, usually normal pulse oximetry struggles a little bit. On top here we have the battery and the Bluetooth indicator. Yes, Bluetooth. Uh, this device has um, Bluetooth, but be aware that there are two. Uh, so there are two big, um, two, two different versions. So one is the Mighty Sat. That's this one and the other one is the Matisat RX. Uh, the first one is meant to be used by everybody, the second one is meant to be used just by uh, health professionals. Uh, there are then three sub-versions. Uh, one is without Bluetooth and without blood variability index and it doesn't have also the respirate. Then there is this version that doesn't have the blood variability index, doesn't have the respirate, but it has Bluetooth. And then there is a third version, third subversion that has uh, all the optionals, so uh, blood variability index, respirate, and Bluetooth. Uh, so this is the middle subversion, let's say. Um, so before I said uh, that it's not meant to be used in animals. Uh, and that's mainly because of this outer band here 
and that as you can see it may prevent you to use it in bigger tongs in very big tongs and uh, these the fact that the sensor is quite far in may prevent you to use it uh, in very small tongs um, otherwise it's very quick to pick up a measurement as you can see and now this is very 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 quick and uh, now I'm going to show you also the uh, application that you can download um, on the app store of most recent uh, iOS and most recent Android devices as well so here we have a live the live view so where we have uh, saturation, pulse rate, perfusion index, platysmographic waveform here with the signal the signal IQ as well you can so this is the uh, you have also the trends here this is the uh, live view instead I got confused um, this application also keeps track of all the measurements that you've made and you can recall them and um, and see the trends and navigate through them pretty easily. You can download this data in CSV files, so you can use them with uh, almost all uh, spreadsheet programs on your computer, and then you can use them either to draw graphs or for whatever reason you want, actually. Um, you can turn on and off the sound you can turn on and off the sounds of the alarms um, you can set the alarms obviously as you can see here it has also pulse rate uh, respirate sorry and plat um, variability uh, obviously i can't use it with this device because it's as i said this is the um, version without those but um, if you get the full optional version, uh, you can set uh, thresholds for those two. Um, I have to say that the hub is very well designed and Bluetooth connection is very stable. Uh, during all my tests, it never dropped. Uh, that's that's very good. They've done a very good job at Masimo because on the whole days, uh, the first devices uh, that have Bluetooth uh, didn't have a very very reliable connection but uh, this device instead is uh, has a very very good connection um, I have to uh, say that the only downside of this device actually as I said is this band and the fact that the sensor is so far in uh, but um, other than that I'm pretty sure that this can be really useful for all these people that uh, have to do anesthesia in field or in a situation where you don't have access to a multiparametric monitor and you want a relatively cheap uh, way to have a pulse oximeter and as I said you can use it with your iPhone with your iPad or whatever um, whatever new Android device uh, or pretty recent Android device you have um, so I think this is a, a quite good option. Also for people like uh, that do freelance anesthesia, that, that's pretty good. They don't have to carry around these um, huge pulse oximeters. Or, um, so this, is, this could be uh, a good compromise. So I think um, that this, this device can really find a place um, in some people equipment uh, if you if you give it a try uh, please let me know in the ADA forum I'm pretty happy to uh, to know all your opinions on it um, I think that otherwise that's pretty much all for today don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you for